Cool. Welcome to Kubernetes 115 burn down on June 17th, week 11. It's our target release date. Are we going to ship or not? Stay tuned to find out. Um, and as always, this meeting is being recorded and will be posted to a public YouTube channel. So please observe the Kubernetes code of conduct, which basically boils down to don't be a jerk. And I will pass it over to Kendrick for enhancements. Hey, everybody. Uh, sounds a little windy right now. I'm sitting on the beach, so I'm hey, hoping making you all a little bit jealous. But at this point, uh, nothing's changed. So we're green and good to go for the day. Cool. Thank you. We'll pass it over to uh, CI Signal then. Good morning, evening, and afternoon, everyone. CI Signal, nothing interesting to tell you all. Uh, I don't have any stories. Okay. Um, the failures from this weekend, they're not something that needs fixes for. Yeah, nothing. Uh, everything in uh, everything in one. So currently, one fifteen blocking has a couple uh, jobs listed as flakes, and uh, they really uh, they really just been a bunch of flakes. The only one that we were watching this morning is a GCE reboot test, which uh, has been uh, flaking since the dawn of time, and the last run for it uh, was green. So effect uh, so yeah, still a flake. It seems. Okay. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's all good to go, it looks. Okay, so nothing we think needs patching before we ship? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Any questions for CI Signal? Yeah, there's a couple of uh, failing test issues still open in uh, the 115 milestone. Uh, these, I believe, were associated with like flaking tests. Um, Shoot, are, are we just ignoring these? Can we punch them or close them? Um, it's, been, uh, it's, been a, it's been a busy couple of days, uh, but uh, we'll get to closing uh, the ones that need to be closed and moving the, uh, just, uh, we'll get to moving uh, to clean up all the tests. Uh, okay. we, uh, yeah, we haven't been keeping up to, uh, too much on uh, up to date. No worries. Um, I'll just include these in my um, meeting update. And if you want to, in the doc, if you want to go through and give some update on those, that'd be great. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. So all those open issues around tests, then it sounds like can be closed and none of them should be blocking. And we don't think there are any failures on CI signal that we should hold the release over. Correct. Okay, cool. Um, then I will pass it over for bug triage. All right, so I still have those two issues, um, but that doesn't seem to be a problem. Uh, there is one open PR. Um, Claire, I pinged you on it yesterday. Um, it's about the HBA feedback uh, writing status uh, 79035. I don't think that this is blocking. It looks like it's additional like work. Um, basically, the idea is that it's trying to change the way that the horizontal pod autoscaler gets metrics back from the metric server. Um, it will, I don't think this is release blocking, but I just wanted your feedback on, on this one. Yes, it looks like this one was possibly opened on Friday after our meeting. So I would hope this is not release blocking coming in so late. Um, yeah, let's confirm with SIG apps since it looks like that's the SIG linked with this just to confirm but i'm gonna say unless they have a really compelling reason this should not be release blocking okay um uh, i'm also inclined to move it to 116 just because there's changes that need to be made to it as well it seems like they're they're uh gunning to get into 115 under the uh right at the last moment <laughs> yes that is what it sounds like based on looking at this and it doesn't sound like this is fixing a regression based on just reading through some of the, the issue descriptions. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's just fixing something that probably was existing in 114. Yeah. Okay, 
Cool. We will then confirm with SIG apps that this shouldn't be considered release blocking, given it doesn't sound like it. Um, let's hope that this does not block us. OK, sounds good. Uh, other than that, I'm green. So. Great. Uh, test infra. Hey, everyone. Uh, we have about 112 PRs merged since seven days ago. And since last meeting, it was uh, we have about 65 PRs. Um, nothing um, burning, so everything's green. There are two pull requests from the release lead and from branch uh, release management lead to split the tasks of uh, test infra. And we are having uh, different reviews and comments there and everybody can channel their comments over there. Uh, that's it, all the screen. Cool. Thank you. And I saw that you'd yeah, given feedback on mine, so I will go in and update it with the feedback provided. Anything else for test infra? All right, we can go over to docs then. Hi, uh, so we are green. We have we are we have fixed the uh, the merge conflict, and the PR for that fix is having a look good to me. Uh, once it's approved, we'll go on with the schedule as usual. So cool. All right. Sounds good. Uh, release notes. Yeah, we're green. We just had the um, release notes 115 draft merged. Um, the site is live, and we're just working for, or we're just waiting for a. Uh, a Google Analytics tag for the site, but it's not a blocking issue. It's just something that would be nice to have before the release is actually out. So that's it. Cool. Um, comms. Cool. Yes, and I, I think I see one invite put on my calendar for an interview. So exciting that those are starting to be formed. Cool. Um, yeah, is there anything comms needs from myself or enhancements or anything? Yes, right, cool. Uh, then over to release branch management. Hello, um, just as Claire said earlier, when we started the meeting, will be will today be the official release for 115. So far it looks like everyone's going green, so it seems likely. Um, so just continuing from Friday, so there were a couple of PRs that were um, release blocking. Uh, those are mentioned on the meeting notes and they were cherry picked via the PR that I also mentioned. So those were what happened Friday. And then something that I've discussed with Tim, was Tim Pepper on the call? Yeah, Tim should be here. And uh, whether or not uh, 79030 should be cherry picked over, seems that it's a API change and it's relatively big. So the discussion was that 
uh, instead of having it as a patch um, addition to 115.1, we should bring it over to the actual release branch. So, uh, Tim, would you want to continue this discussion? I'm just refreshing my memory Monday morning. So the this one, so the I think the main differentiator in this one is it's priority important soon. So that should not block the release and seems implicitly like something that could land in the dot one patch release. So it's an open cherry pick against 115, but based on the labeling and the lack of LGTM and other merge criteria and not being labeled critical urgent, it looks like 115.1 patch mature. Uh, okay, so from what it sounds like, uh, we should just leave that as is for now. And okay, I guess that's um, all from me. Yeah, thanks for adding that, Hannes. Okay, great. So, yep. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, so, if we're once we get the response from SigOps that their issue is not release blocking, um, let me know how I can help with the cut cutting activities today. I should have a fair amount of the afternoon free to help you any way you need. Cool. All right, then I will pass it over to Josh for Emeritus lead update. So we've got all of our leads for 116. Um, the shadow form is open. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to bug uh, Lockie and the new team about filling in a contact sheet um, because I just realized I can't share the results with people until I actually have people's Google email addresses. Um, and uh, the other thing I'm going to remind everybody in the 115 team is please update your, your team handbooks, your release role handbooks, based on your experience this cycle. Um, there's almost certainly something that changed the cycle or wasn't complete in the handbook or has isn't accurate in the handbook that could use an update. And this is not limited to the leads. The shadows are also uh, encouraged to submit PRs to update the handbooks for clarity, for accuracy, for whatever. Cool. Thank you, Josh. All right, if there are no any other questions from different leads today, uh, I will move over into my update. So the upcoming milestone that we have today is hopefully it's our release date. Um, we are going to try to get a quick answer on this open issue from SIG apps. If they don't get back to us, given it doesn't sound like it's a regression and they submitted the cherry pick relatively late, I will probably say we should push it out unless somebody tells me that that's an absolutely crazy idea. Um, additional update, I sent out an email this morning to put swag sizes into the 115 contact sheet. So I would ask that everybody please try to do that relatively quickly so we can get all of y'all the swag once it comes through, which then leads to the next item, which is release theme and the person from the CNCF who is helping do the design has not gotten back to me on the final design from my idea. So I don't actually have a visual to share with anybody, which makes me really sad since it's our last burn done. And I'd love to just pull up a cute little visual and show everyone. But once he does get back to me with the visual of what will go on the t-shirt, I will post it probably in the Kubernetes Slack channel, the like release one so everyone can see. Um, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully coming very, very soon since we're releasing today. And yeah, I think that's about all I've got. Hopefully this is our last burn down. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone for all the hard work that you've put in this release and all the many hours of meeting time and dedication and all of the effort because truly this is a a whole group effort and we could not get this release out with all of y'all. So I wanted to thank everyone for their commitment and time that they've given this past quarter. Yeah. 
Anything else anyone wants to talk about today? Anything else to add to the agenda? No? All right, then hopefully for the last time, I will call our burn down meeting to a close and let everyone get about 45 minutes of their Monday morning back. Thank you all. Thanks everybody. Congrats. Thanks.